Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. How's everybody doing today? We bring you a 2004 Ford Ranger with the 3 liter Vulcan pushrod V6 in it. It's a 5 speed manual. It has no power options, short bed, regular cab, and the customer complaint on this bad boy is that the clutch is no good. Uh, I don't know anything other than that. He said the clutch is no good. He drove the truck to us. We drove the truck in the shop. I did a little slip test. I couldn't feel it slipping anywhere. All up through fourth gear, it tries to accelerate just fine. But didn't pay for a diagnosis. Just wanted us to put the clutch kit in it. He got him a genuine Ford replacement clutch kit with the slave and all the good stuff. So we're gonna put it in here battery's dead probably need to pull that and throw it on a charger had to use the old jnc 770r yes yeah, six and a half volts in it it is bolted down surprisingly i didn't expect that so we'll uh we'll get that on a charger and let's start pulling this transmission out on the gear shifter once you get the cover off and the boot raised up it's got this threaded bolt through here with a nut on one end you're gonna loosen that nut on the side that it's on, and it should be the long side. Any day. And then you're gonna put it on the back side and tighten it up. I'll hold the shifter, get your ratchet. You can use an impact gun, yeah. that's what you're working on. But then you tighten this back up all the way till it bottoms out, and then tighten. Tighten and tighten. And Tighten and keep tightening and keep tightening and keep going. It'll start getting soft. Not yet. There you go. And that is how you remove the little jam bolt on the shifter. And then with we'll maybe we wiggle it and get that. Boom. There you go. So that's how you take that off. Now you've got some more Phillips head screws that hold this last bit of protective cover down the floor we'll get it off and then we'll be done up here underneath the truck now you can see it's been self lubricating uh, but the way this transmission or the exhaust is shaped what we're gonna have to do is drop the manifolds so you've got bolts up there like 15 millimeter both sides luckily this truck's not rusty so I think all this is gonna come apart fairly easy knock on wood so we're gonna hit it with some penetrant let that sit for a minute and then it separates right here and we'll spray that uh, this rear cross member let me back you up this cross member right here can be dropped of course you got your drive shaft you'll pull it out it's uh looks like a 12 millimeter 12 point uh, wiring harness this is your clutch line going in. You'll disconnect that. All the bell housing bolts, the starters right here. We'll pull that. And then I think it'll just right on out of there. All right, so just pop the clutch line loose. It has a built-in ring right here, this collar. See how it's got a split right there? You push this forward into this spin it a little and pull and that's what unlocks the teeth in there so this comes off no tools needed all the oxygen sensors are unplugged harness up here harness up there and then one that comes up the side of the transmission right here speaking of the transmission you've got a connector here there's two tabs like christmas tree clips that hold it to the transmission there and electrical connector here then it comes down it's fastened here and here plugs in here all of that is now off out of the way that has popped the starter out it has three bolts that come through the back 13 millimeters and next what we're going to do oh and i got the exhaust loose two 15s you have one there one right there one up top one on the bottom and then three 15 millimeter nuts coming in from the front uh, one of them broke, so we'll hammer this stud out, replace it, be good to go. Watch your foot on Dad is putting the transmission jack under the trans so that I can drop this cross member out from the middle. It has 13 millimeters that bolt into the outside of the box frame. 
Oh, that's not a box frame. No, it's boxed right there. One thing I don't like Christmas is not flat on the bottom. Yeah. They're not heavy though either. Okay. All right. So bolts are out. So yeah, this oh, is floating. Yep. Okay. So now we'll, that's good. We'll knock these out, drop the cross member, and then start working on bell housing bolts. And the last of the bell housing bolts are coming out now. Last one. started popping loose you can see the seam opening up i got two super not so pretty looking straps on there to hold it and we're gonna pull it away now and then this transmission will be out so i don't know if i can set you guys hold on a second i know you don't want to hear the tv so i'll mute that we're good to go all right Okay. How about that, folks? There's your transmission. Inside here, there's your slave cylinder. This is where it lives. A little bit rusty and dusty in there. Lots of grease and dust and stuff in the clutch. There's your clutch itself. And the clutch is actually, you know, in here. This is your pressure plate. I don't know if it's had one put in or not before, I see. Man clutch. I don't think that's the Ford logo. So maybe it's had one clutch put in it, but it's got 250 on it. It's probably about right. So now uh, you can take these 10 millimeter bolts loose on the outside and the pressure plate, this part, and the clutch that's inside of it will fall off. And then we'll check our flywheel for scoring or the, yeah. New clutch is in, new master's in in there, and dad's already got it jacked up, so we're gonna start pushing it back together. So let's get it in there. Under the hood now, here's your reservoir beside the brake reservoir for the clutch slave. Underneath the truck, exhaust is on, transmission is in, harness is in, cross members in, exhaust is on, drive shaft is in, all that good stuff. We still have to go in the cab and put together the yeah. and put together the shifter assembly but we can go ahead and bleed the clutch first so how we're going to do this we're going to put us a splash down here in this because it does not hold a whole lot i don't know if you can see it or not we're already almost full and then we have to crack the bleeder screw loose on the transmission and we use a vacuum pump and so what we're going to do that, yeah, that hose is ran up to a rubber hose right there to the side of the trans to the bleeder screw. Uh, and then that is going to pump the fluid out. So all that has to do is crack it open. As soon as you find something to sit on, you just crack that line open. I'm going to sit here and feed it fluid. He's going to keep the pump going, and then when we stop seeing air bubbles come out of the line right near the trans, you just tighten it up. That stops the vacuum. System's bled. Ready to rock and roll. So I just stood up here. All right. Stood up here feeding it fluid. There we are. Reservoir still got some in it, and uh, you just got to not put too much in it so you can put this rubber doodad back in there without spilling it everywhere. With that on and we have bled it now inside the truck now these hydraulic clutches in these later rangers are pretty soft anyway uh the full drive ones i think they have a different slave they're a little more taunt but the 
standard Ford replacement clutches and slaves. They're just, eh. you know, so they're, I mean, they're softer than the brake pedal, but <laughs> it feels like a pretty decent clutch. That's usually all you have to do. So we can lower it down, put the shifter on it, crank it up with our hopefully charged battery and see if we go in and out of gear. Then we'll be done. In the truck. Fire it up. We'll take our shifter. Stick our shifter on there so we've got something. So I've got the clutch depressed. You worthless piece of shit. What is that? The clutch. You have to depress it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dad joke. <laughs> and then with the clutch depressed, because it's a worthless piece of shit, you've got an arts degree. We can go, we'll try a high gear. Fifth, third, first. So there's no. So if your clutch wasn't bled properly, so you're in neutral, it'd be like trying to put it into gear with the clutch out. But as soon as you, it goes. So now we'll put it, we'll try second. Clutch is in, brake is in, wheels are not moving, let off the brake. Wheels are still not moving, which means it's fully disengaged. And we'll start letting the clutch out. And she's rolling, clutch in, brake. Comes to a stop. Our clutch is good and bled. So now we can shut her down, put her together. Pull that back off. We'll put our plate back on, bolts in it, then the shifter, bolt back in it. Voila. And in case you wanted to see it all done, voila. There it is, all the plates and crap put back together. That part is finito. So turn it out. And now we can, I don't know what the next step was. Whatever's left. Okay, Mr. Ranger. We're moving. We have those gears. Those is gears. It's gonna take a minute. Yeah, you, know, you gotta drive it. Come on. We're gonna start off in second, kinda ride that clutch a little bit. Help get her smoothed out. We'll go to third. Pulling good, no slip. So another good way to test slip is to go to a high gear at a lower speed, like we're doing 40. I put it in fifth. It's a little early for fifth, but then if you floor it and see how we're just slowly accelerating, that's an indicator that there's no slip. If you put it into a high gear, floor it, and it without going, then you've got a slipping clutch. We're just going back up into this person's driveway. Don't tell him. But we have no clutch slip. Got some squeaking ass ball joints. Brakes sound awful too. But everything on this truck's crusty like it's been sitting a while. So I don't I don't think it's been I don't think it's been drove in a hot minute. Okay, folks, that's a wrap. We've got a running and driving Ford Ranger. Did I put that in gear? Yeah. If your truck is on a hill where it's gonna roll forward and it's a manual, you put it in reverse. If you're parked going up a hill, you put it in first gear. You put it the opposite of whichever way it's gonna roll.
there you go folks throwing a clutch in a ford ranger and we did it less than well, like a couple hours so it's not even lunchtime yet and uh next up i've got to get uh tile specialties van they're they're in columbus i gotta put them a motor in that uh express van so maybe i'll film that next i don't know but anyway clutch in a ranger cake